While most of us spend at least a third of our days, at least five days a week, you know, the standard nine to five at work, many people spend a lot more than that. And then if you add the commuting time on top of it, I mean, we spend a lot of hours working, right? Especially if you're working for somebody else. And if you're working for yourself, if you are an entrepreneur or, a, you know, an independent business owner, you're working even more because you know what it takes to stay on top of your business and your entrepreneurial uh, ventures. So I've talked about this in the past, but it, it hit me um, very hard again this morning as a reminder when I spoke with some of my former colleagues um, at a different institution. Um, and that is, why do we allow, or why do we tolerate workplaces that are making us sick, that are stressing us out? We have many decades, most of us have either put in decades and are yet to put in decades of work. And if you're spending that much time, that much energy, that much effort into it, shouldn't it be a place that you're excited to go to and not fall into depression, so to speak, on su every Sunday night because Monday morning is coming? Or find a way not to work or not to go to work on Mondays, right? Because you need a day to ramp up and get your energy um, or take Fridays off or can't wait to leave earlier on a Friday or can't wait to say, you know, thank God it's Friday. Or looking for ways to take a Wednesday off right in the middle so you can break up. You know, you work two days, then a day off, then two days, and so forth. If you're in an environment, if you work in a place where there's no leadership, no vision, no direction, you don't know where you're going. You don't know what you're doing, right? If there's no respect, if there's no acknowledgement, if there's no empowerment and trust, if there's no growth opportunities... And I don't mean just promotion, salary, money, benefits, but being able to grow within the organization, being able to be challenged. Why are you there? Don't allow yourself to spend your life in a place where you're miserable. Now, I know I'm oversimplifying this. There are bills to be paid, families to be taken care of, parents, cousins, friends that you need to help out. I understand all of that. And it's not like a band-aid. It's not something you can do quickly in a second. But if you know that you are in an unhealthy, toxic work environment, the one that is making you miserable, angry, perhaps even sick or depressed, you need to work on a plan to get out. Don't waste years or decades of your life that are not guaranteed or promised to you, me, or anyone else. So make sure that when you're going to work, you are working in a place where you want to be, where other people want you to be in, where you're welcomed, where you're respected, where you're trusted, where you're empowered, where you're rewarded if you are the top performer. And if you're not in a place like that today, please, you owe it to yourself, you owe it to your families to work on a plan and a strategy of how to politely and professionally and respectfully depart from that environment and go towards something that is much better suited for you, your needs, and your life. You owe it to yourself. Do it for yourself. If for nobody else, you have to do it for yourself. Because if you are unhappy and miserable and depressed, and sad and maybe even sick how are you going to be of value to anyone else how are you going to help those people around you who depend on you so don't waste time in places you don't belong think about that have a wonderful day wish you all the best please share this video with your friends and family who are in a place like this and i know way too many of us are there 70 percent according to later latest labor statistics in the U.S. alone, 70% of people are actively disengaged from work. Don't care. They just go in, clock in, clock out, 9 to 5, get their paycheck, and leave. They hate being there. And that is a very, very bad way to spend a good chunk of your life.
Have a wonderful day. I wish you all the best. Subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends. Have a great day.